The UN Arab League envoy to Syria, Lahdar Brahimi, says there's evidence suggesting that some kind of chemical substance was used in an attack near Damascus a week ago. But there is no proof that the Assad's government is responsible. But such an assault in itself could be enough for the U.S. and its allies to launch a military offensive against the war-torn country, despite warnings from Russia and the U.N. R.T. Sean Thomas reports. Lakhtar Brahimi, who is the UN envoy and the Arab League envoy on the situation in Syria, spoke in Geneva on Wednesday saying that any military action in the world should be carried out only with the UN Security Council's sanction, as stipulated by international law. Very clear and direct in his message. He did say that evidence suggests that some chemical substance was used killing hundreds in Syria, but that they did not on the ground examine any proof that shows that it was the Syrian government behind those chemical weapons attacks. And of course, uh, one thing that has been reiterated time and again is that this team that is in Syria from the UN, uh, there to determine if chemical weapons were used but not assign blame. It certainly has been a very busy week in the United States with momentum shifting towards the idea of a military intervention. Obama has made at least 88 phone calls to world leaders about the subject of Syria. Two of those those have been to David Cameron, the Prime Minister of the UK. Uh, they, he has looked at evidence and he's looked at uh, ways that the military can respond. Chuck Hagel, who is the Secretary of Defense for the United States, has said that the military is ready and the Pentagon is ready to react as soon as Obama gives the order for some sort of an intervention. But Jay Carney, who is the spokesperson for the White House, uh, had a press conference and outlined very clearly what the United States position is. Let's listen to what he had to say. The deliberations that are taking place now and the options that are being considered by the president and his national security team are not around the question of whether or not chemical weapons were used in Syria on a significant scale, causing mass death and injury. It is not around the question of whether or not the Syrian regime is responsible. It's around the question of what is the appropriate response to this clear violation of international norms. Now, the Russian uh, side of things, there has been a phone call between Sergei Lavrov, the foreign minister here in Russia, and John Kerry in the United States. Uh, in that phone conversation, Lavrov rejected uh, the position that it was the Assad regime, pointing to the fact that uh, there is evidence that suggests it could have been the rebels who themselves used chemical weapons in the attack. He says that the U.S. and other countries should be doing everything that they can to facilitate the U.N. investigation rather than try and hinder it and push their own agenda. He's also alarmed at uh, different nations' attempts to destabilize uh, the peace process and the diplomatic solution, and specifically referring to the Geneva II talks that uh, were being pushed by the U.S. and by the, uh, by the Russian government jointly. Now, uh, Lavrov has also gone on to say that the only solution to the crisis in Syria is a diplomatic uh, solution through negotiation, and that's where Russia stands at this point in time. Now, London is expected to push for a resolution sanctioning the use of force against Syria at the UN Security Council later on Wednesday. The draft document puts the blame for the alleged chemical attack on the Assad regime. Artis Laura Smith brings more on London's possible response. Prime Minister David Cameron is making some very carefully weighed statements. Uh, on the one hand, he says no decision has yet been taken whether to get involved. But on the other hand, he says it's very clear that it is the Assad regime that is to blame for using chemical weapons. According to him, he reckons that he's got clear evidence that it, that it was uh, the regime, the government, that used the, the, the chemical weapons. So in response to that, he has convened a meeting of the National Security Council here in London on Wednesday. They're going to talk about the information that they've already received from the UN inspectors, obviously not the final report because that won't be available for another few days. And then they're also going to talk about whether to push ahead with a military strike. Following that, on Thursday, MPs will meet in Parliament. They've been recalled from their summer holiday and they will uh, be given a chance to vote, to discuss and to vote on uh, what they think should be done. Also, Downing Street is saying that the US and the UK won't necessarily be bound by what the UN inspectors are saying. And also, Britain's made clear that it 
would consider going ahead without a UN resolution. Foreign Minister William Haig says that uh, the uh, use of chemical weapons contravenes international law on its own account, so that is reason enough to go into Syria. Um, Downing Street uh, has confirmed that British forces are ramping up in preparation for a possible military strike. In line with that, we've heard reports from Cyprus, which uh, has a UK uh, base that's uh, about 100 miles from the coast of Syria, so very close, ideally positioned. Uh, people there are saying that warplanes and military transporters have started to arrive. Well, interestingly, we haven't heard anything from the European Union as a whole, but uh, France called for a reaction of force against the use of chemical weapons and said that the UN Security Council could be bypassed under certain circumstances. Uh, Turkey, obviously a key regional player, agrees with that. The rest of the European countries slightly less gung-ho about it. Germany uh, says that intervention is needed if the use of chemical weapons is proven, but it isn't keen to go ahead without a UN mandate. Similarly, Italy and Norway would not be keen to go ahead without a UN mandate. But in the region, uh, the Arab League uh, thinks that it was Assad that made this attack, uh, but that it's not happy uh, to, to intervene in any way. But uh, it re remains to be seen how much uh, this effort can be led by Britain, the US and France, and it looks like it's, it's seriously ramping up.